So regarding that prey ending, where the pistol was revealed, the same pistol we saw exchanged between the Yacht Jaws and Danny Glover at the end of Predator 2, we have to talk about that whole situation. Now, regarding Predator 2 itself, I fucking love that movie and I think it's absolutely the best film of the franchise. Yes, even over the original. But I also acknowledge that those of us that feel this way about that first sequel are definitely in the minority. Most people place the original film at the top of their list, while also concurrently bashing Predator 2 for how terrible a film it is, which they are wrong about in every sense of the word, but that's a discussion for another time. What I'm getting at is this. Since Predator 2 is such a non-beloved film among the masses, I was surprised, pleasantly surprised, mind you, but surprised nonetheless to see the film so directly acknowledged by Prey, with the plot thread featuring Raphael Andolini himself, him teaching the tribe how to use the pistol, and the eventual ending where Nehru takes the gun back to her tribe. The filmmakers are at least acknowledging the canonical existence of Predator 2, and are obviously intent on connecting Prey to it down the road which is very cool to me, regardless of how I feel about Prey itself or not. This is a very cool thing for the filmmakers to have done. But here's my question regarding that ending and how it affects the overall continuity and lore of the stories that could and may happen in between Prey and Predator 2, specifically relating to that pistol, such as how does the gun come into the possession of the Yacht Jaws again down the road? Somewhere between Prey and Predator 2, the Elder Predator has to take this item, presumably as a token of combat. So, are we to assume that after the events of Prey, this dude, the Elder Predator, comes to Earth, wipes out the Native American tribe in revenge for the death of the Feral Predator, and takes the gun as a trophy, before eventually handing it off to Kerrigan and Predator 2? I mean... Some bad shit definitely has to happen to the tribe somewhere along the line for the Yacht Jaws to gain control of the pistol, right? Or do you think something will happen where Nehru or one of her descendants ends up teaming up with the classic Predators to fight the Feral Predator faction in the 1800s Wild West or something like that? And he sort of is gifted the gun by them or something? I don't know. Again, are the Feral Predators variants of the classic Yacht Jaws? Are they competing clans? Are they primitive ancestors? I don't know, but I need to know. Unlike the mystery of the alien saga, which should remain mysterious forever, even though it's already been massacred by Prometheus and Covenant, I actually want these aspects of the Yacht Jaws explored. What do you think?